Hello guys and welcome to my next World of Warships replay. This time I'm pl uh, not not platooned. I'm teamed up with Los Ferratos and Tiger uh, and Tiger Six, both friends of mine. And I'm in the Omaha class cruiser in a tier eight battle. The Omaha is tier five. It's uh, one of the few, one of the few torpedoes, uh, yeah, torpedo armed ships. That's not a destroyer in the American branch and. Sorry for my voice and for my nose, uh, yeah, allergy, stuff like that. Not so cool, but, well, I've got to deal with it, so. Um, the Omaha is pretty different to its predecessors, where we, the one before, I even forgot the name, Phoenix, the Phoenix, uh, is similar to that one, but before it's the St. Louis and the Chester, both armed with guns uh, everywhere, and pretty slow. And then you're getting these things, much over 30 knots, and torpedoes. The thing after this one, the tier 6 Cleveland, is amazing. It's just got like half a million guns and yeah. This is a tier 8 battle. There are all stuff like tier 8 battleships and stuff like that. So we're gonna see. Tiger 6 in the active carrier, the uses Borg, I think it is, and Los Ferratos is in his Congo class battleship. And I'm I'm on uh, just on half half speed so that I can yeah wait for support by our Congo class battleship named Los Ferratos. Yeah. So the scout plane launched already for a long time. I mean sometimes these scout planes just think like, yeah, YOLO, I'm driving outside of the map, I'm flying outside of the map. Because there could maybe be something like on the next map, maybe on Himmelsdorf or something like that, I'll find an enemy. But this time, actually, it flies there where the enemy can be. So now that's already known, which uh, which ship all of the beta players, uh, the close beta players, will get if they have done at least 50 matches. It is the USS Arkansas, it's a Dreadnought class battleship. Uh, so, uh, no, not a Dreadnought class battleship, it's a Wyoming class Dreadnought battleship, that's the right one. Uh, and with the Wyoming, it's the only one in that class. So it's it will be pretty similar to the Wyoming. Yeah. That's actually it. So, I'm not the torpedo guy, I really a little bit of stupid with using them. And... So I rely on my gun turrets, which is maybe because I drive the... Uh, that's the reason, because I drive the American cruisers. But most of the Cleveland... Oh god, it's awesome. It's got so many guns. I mean, this thing is... It isn't bad. I've got two sides in the front... Uh, two, two guns in the front, two guns in the rear. And four on each side, but I mean... The St. Louis had 14 guns. So, which is like six in the side and one in the front and one in the rear. So six per side, obviously. So this is actually this is actually a Cleveland, I think. I mean, I can press Alt. Yeah, it's a Cleveland. So we're gonna let, uh, let him pass and then go behind him because he's got yeah double to triple the gun power than I have. Therefore, he has no torpedoes, which I'm not really in using it. So. This is also a cruiser, not pretty sure what, and then it starts popping all up. Yeah, just to remind, the replay has got a few bugs, so... The destroyer is is moving, obviously, like it's... there we see. It's got 48 health. And it's down. It wasn't me, but he's down, so... This was, was one of the... what was it? A Murmur's guess, the Russian premium uh, cruiser. There you see the shots of Cleveland, like, double as much as I shoot. Mine are, like, ah, a bit too short. I haven't got the range for that. He has to turn in that they are going to hit. I'm dodging his shots, so he misses. Mine are too close, like, uh, too short, like I knew. There is another cruiser, you can see him, in my range, if you watch the minimap. At this point, the cavalry has arrived in the form of Los Ferratos and his Congo class battleship, which can obviously shoot every of these guys behind there. 
This is, I think, a Congo 2? Yeah, that's a Congo and a Pensacola class. This is T7. An American cruiser, so it's not getting better, it's getting worse actually. I see torpedoes and they are not going to hit, yes, so much too far away. Don't even know which uh, which ship launched those. Yeah, uh, well, there was the destroyer, but it was already dead, so. Not, not sure. Focusing fire on the Pensacola, which I'm not really hitting. It's, I mean, it's a cruiser, it's a fast. Well, not so fast, but maneuverable cruiser. And now the two Congos are opening up the fire on me. And that's the second where I definitely have to get out of there. Because they can just rip me in half with hitting me. But I set them on fire, at least this one. And there you see the Serato shots going in and hitting him directly. No, those are Losado shots, I think the other one was the shots of the Cleveland. At least it was shots and we are disabling his AA guns. And we are even doing a pretty lot of damage, and that's because we are doing plunging fire. That means that the fire comes from above and hits not the belt armor, which is pretty thick, but hits the, hits the deck armor, which is not that thick. So and this is a kind of a misunderstanding. I think, well, let's turn left because, yeah, that's where, you think it's New Mexico, is it? It's a few zone. Oh my god, sorry for that one. It just looks so, looks so, so fat. <laughs> so, another time on the Congo. Oh, the, look at the fuser, look at the fuser, look at the damage. Well, one hit, but uh, not so much. But at least we can press out this time, and it's not bugging around. Well, maybe without the destroy, I think. Set him on fire again. And the server's going down very quickly. I think this one, this guy's gonna get over it pretty soon. Gotta bring my lower gun turrets to point on him, but not really thinking about that while holding this curse. Now they are pulling in on him. With 4,000 damage, and maybe even we can get him, I think. Well, no, but AK the Hun killed him. At least he's down. So, there is the Murmansk again. Still on nearly full life. No longer now, we've hit him twice, third, three times actually. Another Congo class battleship. And this is like this is the guys where I really have to watch what I'm doing because they can just rip me in half with one sit uh, with one salvo. If he gets one or two sit penetrations, I'm pretty much done. So hit him twice. There you can see it's just a li little bit bugging around, but it's just a root system, so. Never mind, never mind. Our aircraft carrier actually has got a pretty good game. It's Tiger 6, so a friend of mine. Greetings in this place. Um, yeah, he was thinking like, oh my god, this game was so crappy, and at the end he ended up being first on experience earned, just because he did so much damage to the other, uh, to our opponents with his torpedo bombers. He never killed something, but he did very much damage, so. Yeah, I've got to get out of there. There are just too many battleships, and there is a destroyer, so if I just don't turn for one time, I'll definitely be hit by a torpedo strike. So. Coming right around that island. Because you know, if I'm down on 11,000 health, that's one citadel penetration for her battleship. Even for the Congo, it's one, and they still got the New Mexico, I think. No, they haven't. But well, you'll see what's going to happen. It's pretty strange, actually. Can I say the Omaha is fun? Yes, I can. Even if it's different. I mean, it's much more fun, I think, than the Phoenix was. The Phoenix was a bit of a grind. But uh, just for getting to the Cleveland, it's totally worth it. All I can say. That's, it's totally worth to get to the Cleveland. But, but I'm sure that they're going to nerf it if they release the game. Because it, it is just so overpowered. So turning in, trying to help Los Ratos with his uh, with his destroyer over there. I'm already aimed on him. Trying to get a few shots out, but they are not going to hit. She's much too fast. No, not really. But those are just on the move, so... Yeah, it's still bugging around. We all know that. <laughs> so now he's taking some serious damage, and this probably comes from the, uh, from the moments. I'm not really sure. It's, have, has Mermans good guns, or is it just 
And don't ask me what the first two shots were. I mean, there were some and some somewhere in the water. Like three kilometers in front of the ship. Yeah, no, no. He's, he's, he's turning up the speed. So. Destroyer. He's gonna come around this island. And. Trying to bring my guns, uh, my guns around from the, uh, from the other side. Realizing that he is churned already and bringing the guns up to the other side. The second he's visible, he's got to be down. So, these guys can be really annoying. I don't even know which kind of. I think it's the Simmons. No, it's the Mayhem. It's, it's also T7. So, maybe ladies are going to hit. I'm not sure. Yeah, a few are going to hit. Two. Yes, perfect. Knocked out a gun turret and set him on fire. That's great news. And I think he will not survive that server, will he? No, he won't. There is my first kill. We've put out a mayhem. It's a tier 7 class destroyer. We are tier 5 cruiser. That's awesome. I mean, sure, cruisers are definitely uh, supposed to fight against destroyers. But, well. I thought, well, th there were torpedoes, yeah, but I saw them and they're not going to hit me, are they? No, they are not going to hit me. And this little bugger, yeah, it's a Pensacola again, we saw at the beginning of the match. Still alive. Took him, uh, the Turkish man is beating. I mean, look at him, he lost like half of his life. Yeah, that's when going to battleships. So, the fight has already sunk, but took one of them with him and did a lot of damage. He was in the top 5 too. This game is a little bit of a tragic, actually. So, next opponent spotted, the Romansk again. Hammering him with plunging fire. Oh yeah, he's set on fire. Instantly uses repair ability. So... <laughs> we've destroyed his rudder! <laughs> that would suck. If that would be him. So, he can't really turn, so we're just focusing yeah, on fire again, and maybe that's gonna cause him his ship. So, we're on 6,000 health, which is not that much. We can be happy that the Murmansk isn't uh, focusing on us. Yeah, well, that was a bad salvo. But he's, ne he's nearly stay uh, standing in the water, so he's down. Still the Congo and the Murmansk. Oh, well, well at, at the 7 one was Pensacola, obviously, not the Murmansk. Swap those. So, still the Congo behind there. Is it a Congo? Yeah, it's a Congo. With uh, a lot of life, 40,000. And he's really turning inside of me. Does he want to die? I'm not pretty sure. Even if he want to decap me, it will never work. Uh, and he does decap me. But well, see worse things. Behind there is another cruiser, which is the last cruiser on the enemy team. And it's gone, so... Stays, one destroyer, and a battleship. And this is where I'm making a mistake. Because I'm driving outside of the cap, because I want to because I come to chase these guys, because I think it's more honorable to win like that. Uh, yeah, shouldn't have done that one. Yeah, I don't know where that torpedo came from. Really don't know. <laughs> but it didn't reach me. Yeah, a battleship and a, a little b destroyer bugger. But well, it's not so tragic if you think about that. It's still a win for us, but we could have won this much easier. Because like I said, I just thought, like, hey, well, I'm gonna get him. And there was something pretty strange coming up too. Which is also a thing where I thought, oh my god, if I just would have watched a little bit further, that wouldn't have happened. But you'll see what I mean in a few seconds. So, steaming right towards this battle I mean, I'm, I'm, I am faster than the Congo. Not much faster, but I'm faster. So, sooner or later we're going to get them. We've got five minutes left, so could be that we are doing that. Full speed ahead. Is he standing? I think he's standing. 
Oh, he's going backwards. It could be two. Always just a minimap as he's standing. Could be also. So, Tiger's still alive in his uh, bog class carrier. So, never go close to a Congo. Something I'm gonna learn in a few seconds. Because there, <laughs> the shots are coming and I was so lucky that this didn't hit me because I would have been dead if, if one. If one penetration I would have been dead and two or three minor hits and I would have been dead too. And this thing has got no armor so it would have been penetrations. Yeah, that actually was luck shots. And look how close they're going over this, over this mountain. But I scored a hit and a damage, so worth it. Yeah, this is not going to happen another time, even if I'm trying. I, th I think I'm trying again once. It's not going to happen. Yeah. We're getting closer. I'll try it, definitely. They're never going to hit. Yeah, at least I've got no problems with rabbits anymore. Not on that island. So, those, maybe, well, yeah. Is it what it was? For Bishop? It was a Congo, yeah. I'm always confusing the Congo and the Fuso, and it looks pretty similar. Actually, a bit of sad. I love the Congo. So, burning on two, pro uh, on two sides. Formed and rare. Still plunging him with shots, and I'm just hoping that he's not focused on me. But he will be, because I'm the only one. Yeah, there are the shots incoming, and. He missed. I tried to change the angle of my ship a bit. Make it a bit harder to shoot me. But you can see that the Omaha can really plunge him with fire. In Anyway, so he's getting a lot of damage to cause by me, sorry. Tissue using. He's getting a lot of damage inserted by my 156mm shells. Oh, and there is coming a broadside, and holy crap. Turning right. Yeah, not hitting me. How much left has he left? 8,000. Okay. And he crashed this island! <laughs> Oh, it's so, so, so amazing. It's so amazing. There are things happening. Like, he's burning down pretty fast. Actually, I've set him on fire again. Yeah, it's AA. Who, can't, who cares about his AA? But now look at the capture points. Set him on fire again, and I killed him, and this is the second where I thought, yeah, I've got him, and I've put my hands on my, test, uh, on my keyboard, and this happens. <laughs> Easily could have dodged them. Didn't. Yeah. That was it for me. Tiger already was killed by a destroyer in the enemy team. And I can tell you what happens now. Both, uh, all three of our ships, definitely able of capping in, in that one and a half minute. All decide to go out of the cap. The game ends and we are winning because we've got more ships. Because nobody was able to cap the enemy. Yeah, that was the Omaha Cruiser. One with four hits, 11 times. Uh, Played the Zippo and four quits and two kills. One of them was a Congo, and the other one was a tier seven uh, cruiser. So, uh, no, it was the May and it was a destroyer. So, uh, thank you very much for watching this replay. We've won. I'm the second on uh, experience of one six uh, one thousand six hundred. Tiger was the first on one thousand seven hundred in his bulk class aircraft carrier. And yeah, write in the comment what you think of the Omaha and the entire cruiser line. So, good night.